Hi, Miss Fox. It's so good to have you here again today. Today, we are going to learn a new word called subitizing. But before we get started, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea and I'll meet you at my desk. Before we get started, I want you to make sure you have your pattern blocks and your wood blocks ready. So go get those. We are going to begin the idea of subitizing. Subitizing is the ability to see and know without even counting. And I bet you already know how to subitize up to three, but don't even realize it. Let me show you what I mean. I have my blocks. Can you count how many there are? Yeah, there's three. What if I do this? How many blocks are there now? Yeah, three. How about this way? How many blocks do you see? Three. My number of blocks stayed the same no matter which position they were in. That's subitizing. So let's practice that now with our pattern blocks. Let me move my cubes, and I want you to grab your red trapezoids. Can you get three of them? I'm going to make a design, and I want you to copy my design with your trapezoids. Can you make that same design? Let's straighten that. Good. Now let's do it again. Can you get three more trapezoids? Let me slide mine up to the top. And let's make a new design with our three other trapezoids. Do your pictures look like mine? Yeah. How many trapezoids are in each design? Three. But do they look the same? No. Can you make a new design with three of your trapezoids that doesn't match mine? Let me make one too and see if you can make yours differently. Can you make a design different from mine? Good job! Was that hard or easy to do? Pretty easy, huh? Let's try it again, but let's grab four diamonds. I'm going to make a design and I want you to copy it. Can you copy that design at home? Was that hard or easy to do? Pretty easy, huh? Let's grab four more diamonds. I'm going to make a design and I want you to make something different than mine. Can you make your design different than my four diamonds? How does it look? Good job. Let's do that again. I'm going to change my four diamonds into another design. Can you make yours different from mine again? Nice job. Is it getting easier to make it different with the more pieces we have or harder? I think it's a little bit easier with the more pieces we have. Let's clean up our blue diamonds and let's get out our five green triangles. Let me put mine to the side. Just like before, 
I'm going to make a design with my green triangles and I want you to copy it. Let's try this. Can you copy that design at home? Nice job. Just like we did before, let's grab five more green triangles and we will make designs again. Let me slide mine out of the way and grab my new five. I'm going to make a design and I want you to make yours different from mine. How about that? Can you make yours different than mine? Good job! I bet your design looks pretty neat. Let's do it again. I'm going to make a new design and you make yours different than mine. Look at that. Can you make your design different than mine? Great job! I bet that design looks pretty neat too. Should we try it one more time? The more pieces we have, I think the more designs we can make. Do you agree? Let's try it. Our last time. See if you can make your design different than mine. There. Great job. Was it fun to make your designs different than mine? I had fun doing it. For our next activity, I need you to grab your blocks, a dry erase marker and whiteboard or a pencil and paper. And we are going to make a creation on our paper or whiteboard and then trace around it. And when we're all done, we're going to compare our different designs. We're going to make four designs, so start in the corner of your paper to make sure you have enough space. Ready? I'm gonna start right here. Your design can match mine or it can be different. Either one is okay. I'm using red blocks, but your blocks can look different than mine as long as you use five. There's my design. Now I'm going to get my marker and carefully trace around it. And I want you to trace around yours. I'm careful not to knock my blocks, but if you knock yours, that's okay too. Now take your blocks away and look at your design. Here's my design. What does yours look like? What do you think mine reminds you of? Maybe some stairs? That's what I think. Let's try it again in the other corner. Remember, build on your paper so that we can trace. Let's do this. Your design can match mine or it can be different. When you're done, get out your marker or a pencil and trace around it. There. When you're done, take off your blocks. Look at how different our designs are. But did our blocks change? No, we're still using five. Let's try it again in our bottom right corner. I'm gonna make mine this way. How does your design look? 
Go ahead and trace it when you're done. I'm done, so I'm going to take off my blocks. Wow, so different. Let's try one more time in our bottom left corner. Can you make your design look really different from the others? Let's see. And I'm gonna put mine this way. That looks really different to me. Don't forget to trace. There. When you're all done, take out your five blocks. Look at how different each of my designs are. But did the number of blocks I used change? No, they didn't. I used five blocks for each design. What does your design look like? Wasn't it fun making all of those different designs with our blocks today, Ms. Fox? After your math book is done, I want you to practice subitizing and making shapes with different numbers of blocks each time. I wonder what you will create. See you next time.